First, let's address the elephant in the room. I'm not wearing this cool Hanley flat cap for internet style points. Really, I just don't want to deal with this mop of hair that would otherwise distract you from my message. Today I'd like to answer two questions that I am commonly asked about the LHZ preamps and they are number one, what's the difference between the LHZ1 and the LHZ2? And number two, what potentiometers will fit into my bass guitar? Okay, so the differences between the LHZ1 and 2 are pretty simple. They're exactly the same preamp, same components, same functionality. The difference is really just in the connections. The LHZ1 uh, has uh, solderable landing pads. So as you look at it, you'll see there are pins that you just basically put your wires through and you solder them directly to the PC board. The LHZ2 has the DuPont compatible pin headers on them and these work with the EMG style connectors. Uh, they're common quick disconnect uh, and they're for those folks who are not comfortable soldering or already have EMG sets in there with quick disconnects in there so you can easily connect them to this preamp and the only soldering generally is required on that is to connect to your barrel jacks. Um, the choice is really a preference. Uh, some people, myself, I prefer to have as few connectors in my signal chain as possible. Uh, it's just few, fewer places for error, so I prefer to solder all my connections when I can. However, if you're often changing pickups, changing control systems, or not comfortable soldering, then definitely the LHZ02 is the one for you. Um, both will come with the potentiometers. Uh, the LHZ1 has a potentiometers already soldered to the board. The LHZ2 will have the potentiometers with a cable and quick disconnect on them so they simply plug in. Um, both will also ship with extra connectors and a 9 volt battery uh, adapter as well. If you have a Spectre Rebop, Euro, NS2A, or a, any one of the other bases that were made over in Europe, you'll find that they'll have smaller holes for the potentiometers than you're found on USA guitars. Um, this makes it really frustrating to find uh, the correct potentiometers. There's thousands of different potentiometers out there, but the most common thread uh, diameter is 3 eighths of an inch, which is too big for the holes in the Spectre, and those are generally cut out for an 8 millimeter um, diameter thread shaft, which is about 5 sixteenths in, in U.S. measurements. The other challenge with the Spectre bases is that the control cavity is below the contour top, so you have a bit more wood to go through before you get to the other side and can put the nut on there. So your standard potentiometers with uh, a small thread height won't work. You won't have enough thread bite on them. Currently, with the LHZ preamps, I'm selling the Borns potentiometers, and these are a M7 uh, thread diameter, so they'll fit into the holes. The thread length, or the shaft length is 20 millimeters, so plenty of extrusion into the body to hold the standard uh, Spectre knobs. Uh, the the thread length is a little on the short side. It's uh, 6.5 millimeters. This will work on most Spectre bases, but there are some that the control cavities weren't milled as deep as other ones that'll have a hard, hard time fitting. However, this year I've gone on the journey of trying to find a potentiometer with a M8 shaft that perfectly fits that mounting hole uh, with a longer thread depth so there's enough room to get um, several spins with the nut on there before you tighten it down. This has proven to be almost impossible to find. There are a lot of small sellers um, primarily based in other countries that are selling CTS or Alpha or Borns pots that uh, have longer uh, thread lengths. However, I have concerns that most of these vendors are just saying that they're CTS, Alpha, and Borns pots because none of those companies have these pots in their catalogs. So I found a reputable manufacturer. They supply uh, several large manufacturing and music companies with their brand name pots. Uh, they are certified, they have a great manufacturing facility, high quality uh, product, even though you've not heard the name of the company. And I've contracted with them to build my own pots for the LHZ preamps. Uh, these will have an M8 shaft that's 9.5 millimeters long. Um, the total shaft length is 18 millimeters, so it's a little shorter than the 20 millimeter. 
So when you look at the original Spectre knobs, they'll sit a little lower to the body, but as you can see here, it's actually a much closer fit. I prefer it than the 20 millimeter pots myself. These will be available in mid-September, I believe. Uh, so all future orders will be transitioning over to those new custom pots. You don't need to buy pots for the LHZ preamps. We supply the base and treble potentiometers. You supply the, the volume and or blend controls. Uh, and that, the reason for that is you already have them on your base. Uh, you probably already have a control scheme that works, whether it's the original one, something you built, EMG, or any other manufacturer. Whatever you have there will work with the LHZ preamp. So our installation diagrams will provide multiple uh, ways to configure the wiring of the LHZ preamp to work with whatever you have. So you can take your existing volume and or blend controls, and the output from that would just go into the LHZ and then you would use the pots supplied with the LHG for bass and treble controls, uh, making it a very easy drop-in replacement for your bass. I hope that answers your questions, and until next time, keep rocking.